I think the changes that are being made in the health service are a, a, a preparation for its destruction. I'll be clear about that. It was based on the idea that you had medical treatment according to need and not according to wealth. That's the principle behind it. It's been very popular. Most people wanted it. And, of course, now the idea is to try and turn it into an internal market. They'll have to recruit a lot of accountants to work out what's the cost of this or that. If you go to a doctor, he might not take out his stethoscope, but his calculator to see if he's overspent his budget, like ringing up the fire brigade, saying, my house is on fire, and they say, we've overspent in the current quarter. Come back in three months' time. And I think that the whole thing is designed to privatise and sell off the profitable bits, to leave it as a second-class health service. The whole idea of unit managers running it is absolutely wrong. I visited a hospital recently, and when we came to the premature baby unit, the person who took me around said, you appreciate, Mr. Ben, this is the most expensive end of the business, a premature baby unit. And you wondered what thought processes were going on in her mind. That you're going to have contracts. How do you shop around if you're ill? What does it mean? It means they want to remove and destroy the principle of the health. Service. How you organise it and how you get efficiency is a matter that needs to be discussed. It's going to lose its democratic element. The, doc the family doctors are really concerned, and they're by no means Labour by a majority, or never come out so strongly before. Consultants are, are worried themselves. And in the health service, in the heart of it, you've got businessmen trying to make it look as if it was selling soap or making motor cars. I think it is something the British public do not want. I think it is going to, if it succeeds, which it won't, destroy the health service. And uh, therefore, the opposition to it, which is very widespread, does represent a genuine majority in this country.